this is going to be a very unprofessional review on my phone so you're going to hear stutters and things like that me mess up i'm trying to do this all in one cut so i don't have to do any editing but i know i'm going to so just prepare and stick with me through the video and please don't leave any comments if i'm saying um um yeah um things like that this stuff just happens you know you got to think of these things all right, so what I'm going to be reviewing today is also going back as a reply to Wheelie 132. It is a Samsung Transform Ultra. It has a slide out full QWERTY keyboard, four row. It runs Android 2.3.4. It's on Boost Mobile, $55 unlimited plan a month with shrinkage every six months with your payment of six months on time. It's Boost Mobile's also uh, Sprint's network, um, CDMA, 1900 megahertz. This phone, hardware wise, has a single core Snapdragon S2 processor and 512 megabytes of RAM. 370 megabytes are usable to apps while the rest runs the phone and operating system. If I didn't say so already, it runs Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically just review it, what I like, don't like, and I'm coming from iOS. So this will be a completely unbiased review stating which I prefer or like about you know what phone offers which so say iOS offers something that Android I think would like you know coming from that operating system on a phone I will throw that in there so like I said just hardware right here completely unprofessional review I've got a mossy oak case on here rubberized great Amazon quality um, go ahead and take this case off just so you guys can see what's going on with the phone and see how thick it actually is. It's not really thick, but um, it is doesn't have that really slim profile that some of the new newer phones have. This is an older phone, um, back from two, late 2011, just because it's on a prepaid um, network. But the network coverage is pretty good. Like I said, it is Sprint and I'm just scratching off some of that stuff here. Um, basically, it's got a textured back cover here. I don't like it, it's very, this phone is slip, like I can't, I can't get a hold onto there. This one was replaced not too long ago, and one thing I do have a problem with is this screen just wobbles, and it is annoying as hell. Let me go ahead and take this sticker off. I'll do that later, because it's gonna leave residue. But for a battery, it's rocking a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Battery life, I can almost get through a day. Listening to music just drains my battery at least 20% plus an hour, which is crazy. So since the phone's so slippery, I'm gonna go ahead and slip back on my case right here. One of the tabs broke off because my cousin thought it would be cool to drop it off the counter. But the phone's still rocking, no problems whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the phone. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it being single core, it takes forever and a day. Oh, and I didn't show you guys around the phone. Well, here you've got your volume rocker, you've got a lanyard, you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your power on off wake, um, and your dedicated camera button. It's a two position button. Let me go ahead and try to show you guys that. Like I said, two position, here's for your focus and then take a picture and we obviously don't need a flash and then you got your charger and your microphone this thing is sporting a front facing camera at 1.3 megapixels i do believe you got your notification light that also turns red when charging and blue when completely charged and your notification for like facebook and stuff like that turn blue and your notifications for text messages and things like that turn red and it's also got your proximity sensor and your light sensor for your screen and you got your menu. Um, let me go ahead and get those to light up. You've got your menu, your home, your return, and your search button. Your menu and your home button stick. If you hold it down, like if you press it down right here, opposed to right here, which I have to do, it'll stick down. My old phone was having that same problem. The menu and the search button, if I didn't say so already, have that problem. So, like I said, even brand new would have that problem. So, I mean. I'm gonna keep getting it replaced until it works. Um, the back camera has a flash with your speaker right here, and it's got a three megapixel autofocus camera with dedicated macro mode, and this thing takes some great pictures. All right, so unlocking the phone here, basically greeted. Um, one thing I do like about Android is your widgets and things like that. 
Um, I also got my dedicated widget screen here. I got my music and stuff like that. And as you guys can see, I'm in a basement. I have like no bars. So usually at the time I have one or two bars if I'm lucky. But um, this house is very old, so it's it's make, it's wrapped in um, uh, metal, metal sheeting, sheathing around it for the brick work and everything. So it just tends not to get good signal in this house in general. Um, AT and T never will get a signal in this basement, so I'm surprised to see that Sprint is reaching down in here, considering this is this house is pretty much out in the boonies. So like I said, pretty much you know app screen and everything like that. Um, I also want to talk about battery life. If you're not using the phone, it'll last you. It'll stand by for maybe a day, a day and a half. Um, but like I said, if you're using the phone, your battery's dying like quick. Like it doesn't matter what you're doing on the phone, it dies quick. Um, one thing I do like about this that I never had on my old phone, it was the iPhone 3GS, was the notification center. And it's been great. And I could not live without it. And there's my mom asking me I took some anti-acid pills because we had some really acidy food tonight. Um, so you have five dedicated home screens. You can hold this down and scroll over if you um, want to. Um, like I said, four, four row full QWERTY keyboard. One thing I don't like about this, if you, you really can't tell on camera, is that it's not evenly backlit. Like the, this row right here must have the light and it shines off to the rest of them because they're not evenly lit. Um, Android will go into landscape on the thing. It, uh, if you have your keyboard open, it'll go into landscape mode, but it will not do it regularly. Um, so some of the apps that I have on here are Angry Birds and just, I mean, I'll, I'll scroll through here so you guys can see. Let me zoom in too. Do 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 do. Instagram's a really good app. I like that. And then YouTube and stuff like that. Let me zoom back out. Um, also in this video, I'm going to recommend some of the apps that I like the most. Um, this thing does do Skype calls pretty well. I haven't noticed any problems with it. It's fast, it's snappy. Coming out of sleep mode, the phone just lags for like a few seconds until every app starts getting going back up because Android is truly the only operating system that I'm aware of on the mobile platform that will run apps truly in the background. Like iOS has a shitty way of saying background applications and stuff like that. So one app I want to review is the Facebook application. Wheelie 132 also reviewed this application on his phone on his BlackBerry and said that it was very snappy and just worked really well. Um, this one also is the same, running off the Wi-Fi network and things like that. Um, running Sprint, I've noticed, is it's just a very slow network. Data is just super slow. and But when you're on Wi-Fi, the phone has no problems. Everything just flows, it works doesn't seem to crash. I haven't had it crash except only once. Um, Messenger, just so you don't have to go through the actual Facebook app and do it. This works very good. You're always notified or notified of new apps. Just let that load up. It's just a little laggy there, but no problems in general. Um, the camera, like I said, takes really good photos and has a dedicated macro. This is the front-facing camera, as you can see by the camera and me talking. Um, the front facing camera is not autofocus, so it takes pictures as soon as you press down the shutter button. And you can also, like I said, use that shutter button. Switching back to the back facing camera here, you have a, your flash is really bright. And like I said, right here, your dedicated macro mode, and it really does have a really nice depth of field. I'll throw in some photos in the end of this video as well as some video. Um, so taking a picture. Here's your pre-flash, and then it's auto-focusing, and when it turns off, it's done focusing. And then there's your regular flash, and let me tell you, this flash gets bright. You have four times digital op yeah, digital zoom. It's crappy. It's digital. Welcome to the 21st century. Also, your camera but your camera mode works with your front and back-facing camera. 
Um, you can also have your light stay on while you record a video. So that's really nice. Um, my old phone had a problem with it. It wouldn't, it just wouldn't do video. This one doesn't seem to have a problem and it's very snappy doing it as well. Um, the camera app remembers whatever um, camera one you chose to do when you last exited out of the application, so it goes back to that. Messaging is, well, let's see here. I don't even know. Good to say. So you guys, you know, want to read my freaking text messages. Scrolls good. You saw that it just had a little lag there, but nothing too, nothing, nothing you can't work without. Here, um, my dick ass friend who wanted to, or well, supposedly it's my friend, wanted to say, let me see where his stupid, oh, never mind. Um, going in the browser, this is the stock browser. Um, I also use Opera browser, but this also works good too. I was looking for um, cell phone, wireless, things extender. Thing is, you go to YouTube, and I have mine set to go to desktop version. It runs Flash, so you don't have to worry about anything, and that's what I like. Um, the Wi-Fi network is just going a little slow, but usually it's pretty snappy and pretty fast. I don't notice any, you know, slowness. Um, on cell phone network with, you know, four out of five bar or out of six bars, it's pretty slow. Sprint's just a slow network in general. We've got a little lag here. Nothing too bad. Usually it doesn't lag this much, but we'll go ahead and open up this video and you can see it's running the flash right there in the background and things like that. Go ahead and move this over to landscape mode. Open up the screen, just goes a little faster, just because it's loading flash. Okay. This is JD Mower guy's midi video, no, so I don't want this to to show up. You know, it's copyright, but pretty flashy, works good. You know, all the things that iOS doesn't have, like flash and stuff, you know, so that's always good to have. I'm um, talking about the mail clients that come with the phone now that I got an app or um, an email they come through you know I might as well review it the Gmail app is very nice it it works it flows it just does what it needs to do the other app for your other email clients and stuff like that it's just I don't understand it it has a completely different look from um, Gmail I don't understand why they didn't produce it to look like Gmail I'm um, going ahead and moving over to the market now. Um, they updated their market from the Google market or the Android market to Google Play and things like that. So actually, I really like it, you know. And I love how Android has all these search options and things like that. And what the hell? And I love how it has all these search or the share options like this. I mean, go ahead and show you on a picture later. Go back to the App Store, and it just flows. The new Play Store is 10 times better than the old one, and it's organized now, easier to find things, and it just it just works, you know, top, new, free, and it just has a lot of, you know, threads or trends or whatever, you know, to find things. So, you know, it's easy to find things, just like the iPhone App Store. You know, over 250,000 applications, so you don't have to worry about the lack thereof and things like that. And I also forgot to mention that this phone comes with one gigabyte of ROM, and I have a 32 gigabyte SD card in there right now. And let me just go ahead and go to my storage. See, 29.71 gigabytes. I've got 17.66 gigabytes left. All my music and applications are on there. And I've got 769 megabytes left of ROM on the phone. That's just um, applications um, that, um, excuse me for saying um all the time, that, you know, run, that need to save their data to the phone. Battery usage, I like how it tells you, you know, how long your battery's been going. I'm surprised my battery's been going for 11, y'all can't even see that, 11 hours, 29 minutes, or 22 minutes and 39 seconds. Android system tells you what's been using your battery, so... You know, as you can see, I don't get very good signal down here, so I'm always losing it. Phone idle, you know, it just tells you what's up, and things like that, which I like. So my display's been on for 53 minutes the whole time that Android's been running on this battery charge. So 
So I really like that feature. So you, if you know something's draining your battery a lot, you can get it fixed and things like that. Sprint has their own little ID pack thing, but it doesn't show you. It says it's not detected because Wi-Fi is on. So you have to turn that off, but I don't want to because I only have one bar. Um, other things to show you, and this also glows. One app I like is called Easy MP3 Downloader. Pretty much just, you know, search for a song and it pretty much finds it. Um, one thing I don't like about the Android is just the, the music player is just so stupid. You click on something, you go into the actual album, and then you go back. And it goes all the way back to the top. You don't want that. Oh, and also, ads come to your phone. I'm pretty sure that's not a fault of Android as much as the cell phone network or something along that lines. Or an application that's been downloaded that gives you that message. I don't get that a lot, but it does happen. Let me go ahead and play a song just so you guys can hear the speaker. Um, this is going to get copyrighted. I'm going to go ahead and do No Hands by Walk of Like a Flame. It's an old song, but I really like it. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to do Wiz Khalifa's new song. And also, the touchscreen is very responsive. It works just, it's good. It's a 3.5 inch touchscreen. The keyboard is actually pretty nice. And this keyboard actually gives you a pretty good feel, um, feedback, you know, as to when you pressed it and things like that. So it works out pretty well. Um, you've got your, your trackpad and things like that. And it just works. The buttons are spaced nicely. And you have a lot of room to type, and it just flows. It's really nice. Um, the screen, while I'm at talking about just how well the keyboard performs. The screen performs really well. It's nice and bright and vibrant. Um, it doesn't have the DPI that higher end phones have, but you know, it definitely looks better than the iPhone. The iPhone's backlight gets a little bit brighter than this one, but this one just looks more sharp and crisp and it has a more sharper image while the iPhone puts off more of a cooler image, uh, should you say. So let me go ahead and search for this song and listen to a little bit of it so you guys can hear so obviously you're not going to get very good performance out of a phone but um, it actually, it, it gets pretty loud, depends on which song you play. Um, the, the, um, stock, what would you say here? The stock, um, notification tones on the phone just are completely too quiet. Um, uh, mine is Dirt, or Dirt Road Anthem by Jason Aldean, and my ringtone is Dirt Road Anthem by Jason Aldean, but I have the shortened version that I mixed up with the, this app right here. Let me see here. Ringtone Maker Pro, <clears throat> and you can see that, excuse me, you can see that app just open up really quick and just, it just flows. It's a really good operating system. I really haven't had too much problems with it. One app that I like to just flows is the, the clock application, but you also go in here and set your alarms and things of that nature, and it just works, you know. Go in here and check in the weather, see the widget. This is coming from the widget. It hasn't updated in quite a while, so it updated just then. And it did pretty fast, and you can see it just it just flows. Um, one thing I like about Android is that you get the full version of Angry Birds. It just has ads, and it actually works pretty damn well. Like I said, um, the screen actually doesn't look too too bad. I'll see if I can zoom in so you guys can see some of them. So, like I said, the edges don't look too too bad, but. And then again, it's not HD or anything like that. This is the first time this game's run, so that's why it's going so slow. But so far, so good. Go home. Go ahead. Oh, this happens to me all the time. I always end up touching something else. Games. Let's see here. Fruit Ninja. And my phone is lagging for some reason. It usually doesn't go this slow, but you got to give it some time since I guess I've been opening up all these stupid I don't want this stupid shit no thank you essay once the phone gets going it must I don't know it must be doing something in the background you can see the game runs smooth playable the touch screen is just it's just a nice nice 
you know, speed. Where I'm touching is where the blade touches and things like that. And one thing about Android, as soon as you press it, you can go right on back to it. You don't have to restart the game over like iOS did, because iOS is retarded and for pussies. I'm sorry if you're using an iOS device out there, but I think you can get, you know, just, I think Android's just 10 times better. Let's see how long we're going on here. 20 minutes. Okay, so we're starting to bore you guys. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and include some pictures and a video. You guys have already seen some video from it. But I'm going to go ahead and include some pictures in the end of this review. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please write, subscribe, and comment. And uh, if you have any questions about the phone, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And things of that nature. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I already said that. And I'm out.